<laughs> what's up everybody welcome back to third person i'm chris that's mike what's up mikey what's going on chris been a, been a minute but uh i had a lot of a lot of uh life uh stuff a going lot of on life stuff yeah i i moved into a new home and uh, yes. yep, thank you very much and uh yeah you know so um you know other stuff happening and uh so yeah so this might be a little bit late but it is two episodes so you know we got to we had to make sure we watched it and, you know, figured it all out. And I had to add a new office and new setup. And so my lighting's a little yeah. different than usual. But anyway, we're back. This was the finale, Mike. Uh, yeah. Slay House and Gun Barrel. Slay House obviously mm. being the house where uh, Manx was uh, stationing himself, where he had Craig, yeah. where he tried to burn uh, Vic, uh, Vic yes. alive. And then Gun yeah. Barrel was actually just the town that, that, that the Slay House was in. Because she didn't make it that far on foot. No, she so. couldn't. Well, it was Colorado. So plus, plus, I, plus, he was also there anyway. He showed up at that at that convenience store, that gas station. He's yeah. been there obviously before and everything. And yeah. that's where he met that kid Bradley, who we Initially, find out yeah. right. He still has now. He has Bradley and that little that little kids that little oh, kids man. little. Mon- I love how they make them little demons. They're just yeah, little they are. absolute yeah. demons. Um. Look, a lot of stuff happened in here. I I, I want to just say opening shots. First of all, what'd you think of it? Did you did you like the finale overall? Uh, no, no, I, I enjoyed it very much. It was a lot of cool cinema stuff, cool shots of the, especially like you, I know we talked about already a, a little bit about the opening scene where Craig goes after Bing. A um, lot of lot of cool shots where there's there's you, you know there's um. Uh, a, a fight going on, but it's not showing you the fight. It's showing you um, like the flower on the ground and the blood splatter, like and you don't necessarily know who away. got yeah, exactly. hit first. And that and was who, great. Yeah. So um, tension. and especially no tension that way. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And the Christmas mu- music is going on, so it was like freaky um, with with that kind of stuff. So a lot of cool um, shots and a lot of cool makeup stuff, especially at the end with with Manx and and yeah. the wraith and stuff. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. I mean, um, Craig's Craig obviously didn't make it out of um, the no. whole Bing fight after no. Vic obviously warned him initially not to not to go after him. So um, yeah, poor poor Craig. It was really a poor Craig centric episode. It really was. I mean, and and it's funny because this guy didn't really show up. He he was there sparingly throughout the whole season, and then all of a sudden we didn't even know his name half the time. Yeah, exactly. You, you know? learned it. You learned it. Uh, you learned it this episode. This uh, finale. Yeah, I mean, great casting though. Like he's definitely like a kid from like New England. You know what I'm saying? Like it, yeah. you know, it just seemed like you know you could see that type of of like he, the, his persona and the way the, his hair and everything. And dude, yeah. I thought this was in the 90s, but then I think. She had, I know she had the new phone. So Vic I don't had like know, the, man. I, thought, I know it's funny because it was in the night because everyone had flip yeah. phones, man. Yeah, I thought everyone had flip yeah. phones. Anyway, I know it was I, funny. I thought that as soon as I saw that. I know me too. I was like, all right, she shoot me yeah. down. But um, yeah. So you know, yeah, you're right. So it sucks. Like she had to kill him. There, there, look, there's a lot of stuff in this, in this, in this thing. Craig obviously getting killed by her, you know, her girl, his girlfriend. Uh, she's pregnant, which you know we'll, we'll we'll get to in a minute. I wasn't too sure about that that timeline, but we'll get we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. Um, we you know just going back to the beginning of it, you know Craig gets taken. Manx shows, uh, Bing shows Manx he's got Craig. He asks Craig if she and uh, Vic and him did it, and 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 you know he's like yeah basically, and she's like oh well she's not gonna be the mother of my kids. She's a whore. Blah blah blah. Yeah. So he's now set out to kill her. You know, she ends up finding him at the sleigh house. There's a little run around with the kid. She gets her knife and her bridge uh, the shorter way done. Like, that's just yeah. done. So I don't know what's going to happen with that now. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, Manx obviously sees... Uh, maybe Because for a while, they, they, they build up tension with... with <clears throat> um, you don't know where Manx is. So when Vic right. is trying to get Craig out and then the little kid, what was it? Bradley, you said Bradley. Right? Yeah. Bradley's like running back and forth inside the car, like a fucking animal as he's great. trying to, you know? So, um, for a while, you're like, Oh my God, get the hell out of the house. We're getting, you know, cause she's running around the house. The kid is chasing her throughout the house. Yeah. So it kind of gave you a lot of, Oh fuck. When is Manx going to show up? So obviously yeah. when Manx shows up, he sees the bike and he throws it into the bridge <laughs> and there it goes. It disappears. So, um, yeah, I'm wondering what's going to happen with that. Uh, in the future because you know like we said after Vic finds out everything and that she's pregnant there's a six month time jump at the end so I'm just wondering um, if we'll find out anything about her using her powers or she's if she, you know she thinks Manx is 
done. This she thinks she doesn't know, right? So th- at the end, this guy's you know we see the impound, <clears> and <throat> this guy's I don't know why this man's hooking up a battery to this burnt out rust. Like why do what are you doing? Why yeah. would you do that anyway? Yeah. He does it. Manx wakes up and he and he basically you know uh, scares the shit out of this this lady and and uh, so he's a, so he's alive. The nurse or whatever. He's alive. Yeah, so he's, he's awake. We don't know what's yeah. going to happen there. If he's still yeah. alive, the game isn't over. You know what I mean? Yeah, until that until that wraith is completely destroyed. Um, I was thinking about this too. I'm wondering, like, the battery must be like the heartbeat. You know, the battery is like the life of the car. It's the life of of Manx. Um, if the car is crushed, but the battery isn't completely destroyed, and the car is not able to be driven, is that does that still count? Even though they can maybe still, well, you know, I, it's, it's just the the we don't know all the rules yet, and yeah, and, and things are even changing now. Now she doesn't have her. First, she lost her. We thought she lost her knife. She tried to find a new one, but I guess yeah. she still had the old one. Then, then now it's gone, and her bridge is gone. I assume she gets her knife back. Her bridge will come back, or if she if she selects a new knife, I assume that's how this works. Again, we yeah. don't know a whole lot about yeah. how all this stuff works, but I think mm-hmm. that might be what's what's going to end up happening. And also, yeah. as far as Manx, when Craig punctures a hole in the in the gas tank, he's bleeding. He starts to bleed, so like the gas is like the is is the blood of the car essentially mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. so so you can so you know we know more about manx's connection to his wraith which is interesting because did he create this wraith or is it or is it just oh no no so okay so it's his knife it's his knife it's his knife but, but maybe but... since he's been using it so long they kind of you know because remember he talked about how um, I, I know how to stay alive, and he, he he's mm-hmm. been doing this a lot longer than Vic has. That that mm-hmm. Maggie even has her abilities. So maybe as you you um, you're the strong creative as you're living that kind of life, the longer you do it, maybe the more you can evolve into, you know, maybe. Um, something like that. I don't know. Initially, maybe he realized that the wraith was his knife, and and eventually they mold kind of into one. Maybe the more Vic would have used her bike, it would be the same thing. Well, if the bike gets was, destroyed, Vic, yeah. you that, know, so. I mean, that's what knows? I was going to say, dude, dude, if, 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 if her tire, if one of the tires goes flat, would it, would it like, she get a foot ache or something? Like, you know what I mean? Like at this <laughs> point, you know, like we don't know. Yeah, I'm not For sure. handlebar break, yeah. is her arm going to be like, you know what I mean? Like, I but, don't necessarily think so, but at that, at this moment, but the more that she can possibly learn and if Manx was able to have taught her something about how to, um, stay alive forever or do, and Manx obviously has a lot of knowledge about this kind of stuff. So I'm assuming that he would have been able to teach Vic how to do yeah. certain things. So let's, know? let's, let's talk about new character, Luke Carmody. First yeah. of all, stop saying his name. Manx. Yeah. Like, it was as as he's like, stop saying my name. I, I said it the same exact time because I was like, stop saying his damn name. It's yeah. so I couldn't tell. Like, is his like I couldn't tell. Is his name Lou Carmody or is it Lou Carmody? Like, what the hell yeah. is it? Stop saying it. You know. <laughs> yeah, he knew exactly how to so, uh, you know what to say to him. Well, he always you know? does. He's got that. He's got that thing. But what's interesting about Lou is I'm not sure I like Lou. I'm not sure how I feel about Lou. I, I guess I should say not that I don't. Like, I kind of like Lou. I like how Lou is very gung ho and just believes in, like, very easily believes. Hey, okay, this is crazy. Let's go. I'm gonna kill yeah. this guy. She's like, you know how to use a gun. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just like I feel. I do feel like towards the end there got a little rushed, and she got a little Ripley from Aliens. Okay. Especially okay. the hair, dude. She reminds me so much yeah. of Ripley, which is which is really cool. But because I think R- Ripley is a fantastic character, you know, yeah. by Sigourney Weaver. It's one of my. It's one of the the best heroines in film history, you know. But I think she got a little Ripley at the end there. You know what mm. I mean? Telling people what to do, where to go, and this and that. All while you know, and 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 a very tense and and, and horrific scene in in the house. Like, you don't know how she's going to get out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, initially she falls and, you know, she hurts her leg and and this and that, but she's able to get out of there, which is, I mean, did you really think she was going to die in there? No. no, Um, Initially what was funny is when she, like, blocks off the door and he, like, makes the trail of flames, Mm -hmm. she could have, the gas is what was initially burning, so it wasn't like the the, the room was caught up yet. She probably could have just opened the door and ran out. Right, right. The door that 
that she initially blocked instead of having to go up this vent. But obviously they had to make it, make it um, tense for the viewers and whatnot. And, and um, you know, obviously she gets out, but um, got to yeah, make that runtime, Mike, you know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, what did I want to, Oh, well we talked about uh, already about um, Vic having to burn down the Wraith. And what do you think of the, um, the effects of Manx going from the young Manx to the old Manx in like a split second and everybody witnessing it. Well, too. right. So, I mean, we've said this throughout the whole season. His, <clears throat> in, his, his special effects and makeup in particular are fantastic. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. very, it's not so much old man makeup as it is like old demony makeup. Yeah. The gullet, the nails, and like even he, even when he's in the young, he's got the nails and the teeth, and yeah. You know, again, it's I don't know how they're doing it. It's seamless. It's it's fantastic the mm-hmm. visual effects. And he's great. He's great going because he technically he's playing a couple different characters. Yeah. You know, because the voice is much different. He has that, oh, oh, you yeah. know, that raspiness when he's older, Max. But um, yeah, he's doing a fantastic job going oh, back exactly. and forth because. Lot. You know, some like like we just said, the scene went from him being young to this the the old dying um, on his last leg, Max, like that. So it was um, it's just cool. It's seamless, like you say. Um, all right, so we, we you know we we talked about how about the funeral because I talked to you about this already. Yeah, this so, is now Craig's funeral. A little uh, weird. A little weird. I mean, uh, Vic knows she's pregnant. She tells her father, not her mother, about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she has the conversation with Craig's mom, which I thought would go a much different way. What do would, would you think? I Especially like it. No, since, I thought... since what? Um, since no one really that was at the funeral knows. They never said anything like about he, di- like he died in a, in a burning car. Like no one said anything. Yeah, and especially since Vic is the one that did it. So I'm just wondering how, how that what, got across, what information right. do they have? Um or they do lack of information um, that Vic's uh, Craig's mom isn't like wanting to kill Vic. Right. For did, a, they, did they? So say, there oh, must be something that wasn't told to Craig's family about what happened. Because, right. Did they say he died in like a car accident and he and he, he crashed? Like he crashed his bike that, into just, the just car. Just knowing or that. I mean, listen. They they did say that there were two bodies. So the one body is Bradley. One body is Craig. Right, so. Yeah. The, the, I, I was wondering, uh, I, it would have been kind of interesting if the mother was like, well, who, how did Craig end up in this situation kind of thing? It wasn't like that at all. No, no. Uh, she was just like, I told him to get out of here and yeah. this, you you better get out of here. This town is poison. He was it's a good bad. boy and all this he kind of really, stuff. No one knew. No one knew. Yeah, it was it was upsetting. But then again, yeah, she lost her kid. You know, and the mom was a drunk too. Like he took care of the yeah. mom. You know, like yeah, yeah. Oh, she tell. was always yeah. Remember we she swore was laying on, on the, the yeah. on the couch and whatnot. Yeah. So I just thought it was weird because um, they obviously don't have the same information about or the true information of how Craig right, passed right. because everybody would want to no, really uh, yeah. Vic would be locked up for burning this car down. You can't, you know, you can't write in the in the report um, vampire. You know dire you know like this supernatural story so you couldn't necessarily have that so i just thought that was strange right um so what so so let's run to the end it's six months later she's pregnant she Mm. doesn't have her knife or anything she's left home she's now living with lou i guess uh i guess yeah she's you know they they he's, talk about he's a sidekick a machine shop or so something she's like got that. a job at, at a machine shop i guess where he works yeah. or maybe owns yeah. or whatever yeah. they she's living in colorado and she's six months pregnant she's six months pregnant <laughs> and they're looking for christmas well, they visited, land. They visited they visit the the that garden house. yeah with the christmas ornaments all now was it a house it was just it was just the, like a well that was right outside like the, the, the sleigh, sleigh house. house okay yeah so yeah, so she like, keeps going back there looking and stuff like that. It's just a little weird, and it's like, well, where, well, where is this going? What happened? Where is it? Well, you know, it's 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 interesting because I don't know where this is gonna go. I don't know. You know, I the, think the, I think the baby's gonna be very special. There's gonna be something about this baby that um, maybe that'll be her knife somehow. Maybe that'll change it. I mean, remember they also. Um, we don't know whatever happened to Craig's bike. Could Craig's bike become her new knife? Because last time we saw Craig's bike is when he pulled up in front of Bing's house right. um, to to go after him. So That's could that true. be a oh, factor? Oh, maybe she'll take her bike. Yeah, I don't bike know. I mean, I don't know. I just think that you know, to 
uh, initially I thought that her I wanted her to to get out of the town, but obviously that probably wouldn't work well for this story. Um, so whatever she didn't want to be, uh, you know, she's become. She become young. She's pregnant, just kind of mm-hmm. like her mother was. She obviously isn't going to RISD. Because it's six months after she's pregnant. No, she now she's like all in. on. It seems like she's all in on Christmas Land. I don't know though. But, but she, that's the she thing. But where is destroyed? Right. So where? What is she? So I don't know what she's doing. I'm a little confused as to what she's doing then. I don't she know. Just she's back, just right. All they showed her was back there with Lou. She's just, I guess, waiting for the baby to be born before she goes to school. Or I don't. You know, I don't know. So that's what's she's kind obviously of cool not about. She's obviously not in Rhode Island anymore. She's in. She's in Colorado. She's in Colorado, so so she's away from the town, which that's one thing. She does get away. Um, will we see? You know, will we see her going back to school? Did she forget about that dream? Um, but there's something with this child uh, because I mean, I didn't want that for her. I wanted her to, as a viewer, to yeah. go to school and become a success and all that kind of stuff. But but you know, with, light, with, with being a creative, you know, yeah. So uh, I guess we'll see. I mean, those are that's what's what's cool about this series is that. Um, after this finale, we have all these extra questions. Will the new season start with her still being pregnant? Will she have the baby? Right. What what her life is going to be about now? Um, what her relationship with Lou is? What her Where's relationship going to be and whatnot? With yeah, exactly. Um, with Maggie, you know, obviously they both think that he's defeated for the most part. So, yeah. what will spark um, them to find out that Max isn't gone? Ben and- is still around. Yeah, Bing is around. Bing is in the Remember office. Remember she said, where is he, the house of sleep, too? And they were like, she's like, what does that mean? She's like, I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean, we t- we said in the beginning about how Manx gave him an address to stay. Right. So he must be staying in this place. He's working as like a dental office. But, uh, now, but he still, because he still gets the gas or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he still gets to do that stuff. So, so there, he's there must be some kind of, yeah. Oh. So that six-month jump from when Manx... Max's eyes. So we don't know. He could be. He, he must be communicating with with Max. He might even be staying with uh, with Bing. I should say. Right. True. Um, because Bing does offer the kid a candy cane. Yeah. So, so I don't know. Let's see. Let's anyway, see what uh, um, I'm interested to see where it goes. Um, I know yeah. it's 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 definitely different than the book, and that's fine. I are you going to read the book in the interim? I'm going to read the I book mean, in the. Interim. I have I have the book right here. Oh, I, you have it. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me see. Let me see if I can reach it and grab it. Yes, I do. Uh, Let's see. We have the book right here. Okay. Nasiratu. Like I said, um, from one of my friends that that had read it, um, what happens? It's and this is no spoilers. What happens at the end with Manx in the hospital bed and opening his eyes is where the book starts. I'm I'm told. Um, so I don't know how that works in the book, and if we get a flashback or if that's the future, and then you have right. to read the thing beforehand. I'm assuming that's how it is. So. Yeah, I want to. I want to get uh, get into the book, and uh, we still don't know exactly when it's going to be coming back. I'm assuming it'll be next spring, sometime or something. Right? Maybe. They still film maybe everything. we'll do. Maybe we'll both read the book, and then we'll do a little up to the point and see little differences. Maybe we'll yeah. make a little video on that and see. Maybe yeah, we can do a little good. theory on that and stuff. But hey, listen, this has been. I kick something down here. This has been uh, a fantastic show. Loving the show. Um, yeah. I'm glad you know that this type of stuff is on. And um, yeah, thank you everyone for watching with us and hanging out and enjoying the show with Absolutely. us and Absolutely. giving us information and everything. You know, that's right. Again, we're sorry that this is uh, out a little bit later than than usual. We have a lot of stuff going on. Congratulations again to Chris. Thank you uh, for the new place. Um, guys, write in the comment section below. Let us know what you thought of the two part season finale the two episode season finale uh we'd love to hear that kind of stuff and in the uh and what you guys are all thinking about this the series check us out a third person pod and all the social medias of course um we're there you know say hello um we enjoy communicating with you guys and thanks again for supporting the channel that's it thank you guys we'll see you for the next nosferatu video or whatever else we put yes. out for you <laughs> see you then peace <laughs> peace